thieves burglarize a bike shop in Irwindale. The owners say they got away with nearly $40,000 worth of goods. Kickhouse Lori Perez is at the store now with the details. These stories are always infuriating, but especially when they happen to these small family owned businesses. I want to show you here at Irwindale Cycles. They have a lot of security. They have these uh, this big metal gate. They have a security system. They have now 11 cameras inside and one outside, but they say none of it matters when someone is intent on stealing. Now those cameras captured the moment back in the early morning of August 28th when the suspects let themselves in through the back door and then helped themselves to the most expensive bikes and equipment in the place. Five people, 40 seconds in and out. The owners say they took 17 bikes and armfuls of tools and pedals altogether totaling just over $39,000. The mom and pop of this shop say the crew knew what to take and where it all was, which makes them think they know what they're doing. So it's really sad for us because we think it's somebody was here before because they know the product. They didn't guess. They weren't that smart, though, because just hours after the break in, an alert Metro rider took these pictures of two guys with four brand new high end bikes with Irwindale cycle price tags still on them, riding the 5.30 a.m. train into Pasadena. The passenger, who wants to remain anonymous, told me it looks suspicious. So she called the store to let them know what she saw and sent them these images. Police have not confirmed to us that these are the bikes that were stolen, but the store owners say those are them. Meanwhile, customers of this shop, which has served the community for more than 20 years, have really rallied around them since it happened. They started a GoFundMe just in case insurance does not cover the cost of any repairs or replacement of products. So far, that GoFundMe has raised more than $4,000. In Irwindale, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL News. Another smashing grab robbery in the Southland today. This time